Hello everyone, welcome to the AGF channel. My name is Melissa and many of you may know me as Melly from AGF. So my last video for the AGF channel was just about 10 months ago and in that video I mentioned that I was moving from Florida, which is where Art Gallery Fabrics is located, back home to Minnesota, which is where I'm from, to be closer to family. And it's been a long 10 months and I've missed you guys so much. But I wanted to create this video to let you all know that I am back at it and I'm excited to create fun quilt block videos, tutorials, and fabric haul videos. And any kind of videos that you guys want to see from me, make sure to comment below and let me know. And I'm super excited to introduce myself to those of you that may not know me. And I'm super excited to fill you in on what I've been up to and what I plan to create for the AGF channel. So stick around and I'll fill you in on all the details. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to have you here in my sewing space. And I'm excited to share with you a little bit about myself and where I've been and what I plan to do. So my name is Melissa. I've been working at Art Gallery Fabrics for about six years now. And before I started at Art Gallery Fabrics, I went to school for fashion design. And even before that, I lived in Minnesota and I actually went to school for a marketing degree. And I graduated and I loved it but I just was missing something. I was missing that creative side that I knew I needed to find. And a part of me was like, I need to go back to school. I need to figure it out. So I also wanted to get it away, get away from the Minnesota cold. So I picked up the phone, called the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale and talked to the advisor for about 20 minutes. And after that 20 minutes, she already had me enrolled in a fashion design school. And about three weeks later, my mom and dad were driving me to Florida and I started school and the rest is history. And I just, I learned how to sew. I learned all about fabric and design. And as soon as I graduated, I heard of the company called Art Gallery Fabrics and I was like, let me give them a try. And so I interviewed for a job and I got the job right away and I couldn't be more happier. This is about the best job I ever had. And I'm just excited to be back, um, you know, doing what I love with the people I love. So another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is why I decided to move back home and what I've been up to the past 10 months. And it's kind of hard for me to talk about because to be honest, I really haven't talked about it much to many people. But if you follow me on Instagram, you may already know the reason why. And I wanted to share my story just so you know a little bit more about me and, you know, maybe you're going through the same thing and you can relate. Um, and just to know that you're not alone. Um, so the reason why I went home was because my dad passed away. Um, he passed away a year ago in March now. And it happened kind of suddenly. He was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer and four weeks later he passed away. So being close to family was exactly what I needed to go through the grieving process and to help them grieve. So, you know, it's been 10 months now and throughout those 10 months, it's been a hard, bumpy road. But what got me through was family, my AGF family, and sewing. Uh, you know, long nights of quilting and playing with fabric and just thinking of my dad. So in these past 10 months, I have just kept myself busy sewing, following all the sew alongs, sewing for myself sewing for my family and just learning new tips and tricks and techniques. Here are some of the fun quilty projects I've been working on that I definitely recommend you give a try. Susie Quilts Grow Quilt. I used AGF Pure Solids to create this fresh retro looking quilt top. Fat Quarter Shop's Ultimate Beginner Sew Along. 
following their fun step-by-step -step videos to learn the basics of quilting. I used a mixture of AGF Pure Solids and AGF Denim Studio. The Granny Cabin quilt by Then Came June was so much fun using April Rhodes Observer fabrics. Such a refreshing sea of whites and blues. The next quilt is also by Then Came June. I can't help but smile when I see my meadow quilt done up in bright, beautiful Pure Solids and AGF blenders, hot off the long arm. Sharon Holland's Sweet Home Quilt was an easy beginner quilt project that made me feel blessed to be home and realized how important it is to remember what really matters in life. Here I am showing off another quilt made with AGF Pure Solids. The signature sampler Sew Along by Sharon Holland was a blast using a variety of holiday inspired AGF prints from a handful of different collections. The Turn To Me quilt was one of the first and many quilts I designed for AGF. My sister fell in love and I had to recreate this quilt for her using April Rhodes bound fabrics. Pen and Paper Patterns Firefly quilt was one of the cutest projects I've made. I used her blocks in this sweet assortment of AGF pure solids to create two table runners to decorate my sister's home for spring. Yes, it snowed on Easter, but that didn't stop me from sewing up a cute bunny block pattern from Lulla Boutique. And finally, the Scrappy Heart block pattern by Emily Dennis. I made this block on my dad's one year anniversary after he had passed. Of course, I took the picture in my favorite place to sit and think about him. What have you been sewing? I would love to know. Comment below with fun patterns you have created lately. So because of the coronavirus, we are all working from home. We're all working remotely. So it's kind of sad because I miss all the girls socializing with them and quilting on the long arm machine and just being at the AGF headquarters because it's such a magical place. But I hope you like my sewing space and this is where I'll be doing most of my YouTube videos. So thank you so much for tuning in to my welcome back video. Make sure to leave me a comment below introducing yourself and saying hi. And make sure to stick around for my next YouTube video featuring cozy and joyful fabrics and also a technique video on how to make the perfect pillow. And don't forget to subscribe to the AGF channel. Until next time, happy sewing.